I'm Jeff. I'm on the creative tech team at Rive, and I want to show you how to update images at runtime using data binding. I've got an example here set up that is inspired by an early 90s video game where you open the door to a trick-or-treater, give them some candy, and send them away. But right now, there's no trick-or-treaters behind the door, and that's because I would like to put an image in there and data bind it. So let's do that. I will come over to my assets panel, drag one of my images in, and it's much too large, I'll resize it. And position it where I want. I'm gonna hide my door layer so I can get my positioning right. And I'm gonna wrap this in a layout. So now I have an image layout and I have a layout where I want this to go already. So I'm going to drag my image layout into this creatures layout. And now it's in the right position and the right level. So it's behind the door to start with. In my hierarchy, I can see the image here. And I need to create a property to bind it to. In my view model, I have triggers that are set up to control the interaction. I'm going to add a new property that is an image type. I'm going to rename it to creature image and I will bind my image to this property. Now, when I play my interaction, I still don't see anything because I didn't actually set an image on the property. But let's add one. Now, when I change the value in the view model, I'll get a different creature showing up behind the door. This means it is ready to be updated at runtime as well. Before I export for runtime, I'm going to check my assets. For these four character images, I'm going to choose the export behavior prevent export. That will make sure that they are not included in my .riv file that I export. That's okay because I will be updating them at runtime. So I'll export my file and I'm ready to set up my runtime. To start setting up for runtime, I will come over to the Rive Docs and go to App Runtimes. And I'm gonna use the Web Runtime and I will start with the Quick Start Demo. Once this loads, I can create a fork of this project and make edits for myself. Fortunately, this starter project is already set up with data binding and it uses numbers to change this health bar. So I'm gonna close the preview and get rid of a couple of things that I know I don't need. I won't have any buttons in my project, so I will delete that part, as well as down here, these are the other parts that use those buttons for the demo project. And I'm gonna go ahead and upload my files. I'll add my Rive file, and I'm gonna add a folder for images where I'll put my four character images. Okay, first I will put in the correct Rive file for my project. Copy the path and replace it here. My state machine is called state machine one, so that's correct. This being set with auto bind true means that it will get the default view model. This is already set up to reference that. And I don't have a number property called health in my file. But I'm going to keep this, but I'm going to comment it out for now. And I will make edits to that to reference my image in a moment. Okay, this should be ready to preview, right? If we open the door, we'll see that the image is not included. That is what we expect because we haven't added an image at runtime yet. I'm going to make a couple of quick changes to the HTML to change the layout here as well. And because my project doesn't use layouts, I'm going to switch the fit to contain. That looks great. All right, now I'm ready to add the images. I'm going to go back to the Rive docs. And under data binding, I'm going to click to the images portion. And there's some sample code here for loading an image. I'm going to copy this and make a note of how this function gets called inside the on load and I will paste in that code. I'm gonna rename this, since I'm not loading in a random image asset, I will call this set creature. And instead of grabbing an image from this Pixum URL, 
I want to take an image from my images folder. I'll grab the wolf image. I'm going to copy the path and paste it in here. Okay, now I need to reference my image from my view model. Here is the line that was getting a number from the previous examples view model. I know I have an image, so I'm going to change number here to image. And the name of my image was creature image. And instead of calling this health, I'm going to call it image property. Okay, now I'm going to call this set creature function. And I will pass in image property. And since we're using the decode image function here, I'm going to make sure to import that as well. And I don't need to call arrive here. Okay. Now, when I open the door, we've got the wolf character. We can give him some candy, send him on his way, and pet the cat. Let's try this with another one. Let's add the witch character. Open the door. There's our witch. And finally, let's load Frank. And there we go. That is how to load images at runtime using data binding.